You are watching Kolsky One. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. So a bit of a different video today. Well, different as what I normally produce, but moving forward, this is what you're going to see a bigger mix of. My passions, FPV drones, quadcopters, anything, call them what you like. I also like camera drones. I'm into hi-fi in a big way, but massively to me, and it has been all through my life, really is gaming. Retro gaming's really important to me, but I also do the new consoles. Uh, PlayStation 5 will I'll have a review on that on release date, and also on the Xbox Series X. But moving forward, you're going to see a lot more stuff of this. So enough of that waffle, so let's have a look at this. This is the Evercade by Interplay. So it is a retro gaming handheld. There's a load of stuff about these days. The biggest difference on this one, it takes cartridges and it is approved. So you're not playing ROM that maybe you don't have a proper license or anything for. We'll just show you around this. You have a D-pad. There is no analog control on this. You've got a D-pad. You've got your A, B, X, Y buttons. Select and start. Your menu button. Underneath you have a plus and minus for your volume. A headphone jack. A micro USB charging port. And on the top you have a left and right trigger and a HDMI out which is really nice so you can play this on your TV. I apologise in advance that the lighting isn't as good as it normally is but I've got a far different setup because obviously I'm not coming back into it in as big a way as I was. So the cartridges plug in the back and they are tight, very tight as they go in you feel like it's going to maybe break. And this is one of the cartridges. This is the Interplay collection. So it's their own stuff. They've made their own collection of Interplay. And I've got three of these. When you buy the kit, you can buy it at £59 for the console only. Or you can buy it £79 for what you see here, which is three different cartridges and the machine. The cartridges range from $14.99 to $19.99 but predominantly they are $14.99 and I think there's 12 out at the minute but there's more penciled in for either later this year or early next year and there's a few good things coming up that I'm looking forward to seeing. So enough of that, let's just show you the machine. So we're going to have a look at the Namco Museum. So this particular one comes with the other games you get on it. So all these games are on there, so you've got Galaxians, Pac-Man, Thievers, Map it, Dig Dug, Star Luster, Battle Cars, Metal Marines, Libel Ravel, Quad Challenge and Mappy Kids. So maybe you've heard of some of them. Obviously Pac-Man is the most famous one probably on there. And Galaxians. You also get the Atari collection. Which has got a... I think this one's got more games on. I think there's 20 on here. If you can see that. I'm not going through every game. But obviously these are the older type ones. And on here you've got the Interplay collection. Which is their one they've put together. This does not only have six on here, so you get Clay Fighter, Earthworm Jim, Battle Chess, Boogerman, Incantation and Titan. So let me just have, show you the machine. So we'll put this one back in actually, it's the one I've just taken out. Let me show you, it goes in, it is very tight as it's going in. It's actually, build quality is not the best. I have to say the build quality on this thing isn't that great because it's far too tight as it's going in there. The screen on here is not an IPS screen and it's nothing special, It's just a, I think it's just a TFT, it has a plastic cover not glass. They seem to have cut corners a little bit on this, I'd have been happier had this come out for £99 and had a, a glass screen or £109 and came out with an IPS panel. So to me it was a bit of a missed opportunity to be honest and to be fair I don't know if these things have sold that well but I certainly don't see many of them about and a lot of people having them I don't know anybody that's got one by me so we're just going to boot it up let's turn the sound up so you can hear it the sound's actually quite good you've got twin speakers so that's your screen you have to be right in front of this screen to get I'm sorry that the light's going to be annoying so there you go you've got Battle Chess Boogerman Play Fighter, Earthworm Jim, and then if you hit the menu button, this is where you can adjust it. So you can have, I hope we can see that, you can have the original size, you can go full screen, you can change the screen brightness to medium, low and high, audio on or off, your English language, and that's about all you can do. There's not a lot of things on this, it doesn't do that much stuff. So we'll go into the first gate, we'll go to Earthworm Jim, we'll start it up. I'm going to try and play this, we I'm pointing it in front of the camera. So this isn't going to go well, I can tell you now. We just get level with the camera. So I'm, I'm actually going to try and play this looking through the screen on the back. 
So the one big thing and benefit about this thing is that they're instant loading because the cartridges, but the main thing is of course these are all approved games. So every game that's on here has been passed and is licensed. So you haven't got to worry about I really can't play it at the minute. There we go, you get the, the general idea, I'm really struggling with that. But as you can see, you can probably tell from this, the screen's not great. I have to get it at a certain place in front of the camera to make it look good. And that really is as bad as it looks. So, to be fair, I was really looking forward to this coming out. I bought it before I'd seen any reviews on it. I'd only seen three reviews on it, sort of thing. And people saying it was going to be good or bad. And everybody was seen to say it was going to be good. So, to me, the D-pad feels mushy. The triggers, I don't know if are awful. They're literally just tiny bit of movement in them. I don't like them at all. The buttons don't feel too bad. I don't mind the buttons. I don't mind the menu and stuff. The selection start buttons. But I certainly don't mind the A, B, X and Y. I like the colour choice they've gone for and the overall look of the thing. They've made it look really nice. But like I say, it lacks too much for me. The plastic screen's unforgivable in my opinion in this day and age. And for what else you can get for your money. So this is £79. And you've then got to pay the, but this has come with 20, I think there's 450 games here or something like that. But if you go into the marketplace, you've probably all seen something like this. So, I'm going to have a full review on this. This is an RG350M. Kills it in every single way. The fit and finish of this thing is amazing compared to the interplay. This is all aluminium. Yeah, it's more money. I think this was 109. But obviously this came with something like 15,000 games. <laughs> this comes with an IPS screen. And it's just so much better in every single way. See if it's flat. Probably isn't. There you go. So if you look at the difference of screen, you're probably going to be able to tell straight away. Before, it, without even going into a game, you're going to be able to tell straight away that the screen's a million times better. And of course, with this, I can just got so, much, so many different things I can use. I can go into different things. So if I want to play Mega Drive, I can go into Mega Drive. Let's just nip down and see something. Let's just go into something. We probably all know. Let's just open anything else. Let's go bug bunny. You can, I just want to show you the screen and how much quick it looks. And how quick it loads. 60 frames per second. You've just seen it come up on the screen there. And this will play various different things. So this will play obviously all your, all your old stuff up to PS1. I Certain things on here in N60. N64 play ok, the PSP certain games play ok, certainly won't play the top end PSP games and it struggles on a Dreamcast. But up to that it plays fine and don't get me wrong this is only an 8 and 16 bit machine the interplay, this is just so much better. I'll have a full review if you like coming up on this. This is probably one of my, it's not my favourite uh, retro handheld at the minute but it's certainly up there with one of them. So do I recommend this, the interplay? I'd probably struggle to, to be honest, because for the money I think it's very expensive, I think it's cheaply made, and I think you can get better for your money if you're not bothered about, or you can select, if you can manage to get hold of ROMs yourself. If you know where to get ROMs from, and you can get hold of them yourself, and you've no problem messing around with SD cards and how to put ROMs onto different files and folders, certainly don't go for this, go for something like this or oh, there's loads of other stuff you're going to see a lot of these coming up on my channel I've probably got about 40 or 50 different ones of these so I'm going to go through these one at, one at a time on my channel and I'll tell you what I think is best and what's really good value for money you can buy them really cheap and really good at the minute so thanks ever so much for watching totally different video I know from my channel but something that I'm passionate about and something that I wanted to get more into don't forget like share and subscribe and thanks for watching thanks for watching to the end of the video and don't forget like share and subscribe